Measurements and annotations are somewhat straightforward. Uh, there's a couple things that you want to see. But first of all, there's three different ways to take the measurements, just as there are with any other system. You can just click caliper and hit this right button, and you can get your second caliper up there. Now, if you hit it again, on, sorry, the left button, you can go back and forth and make your changes. But when you have your measurement ready, you click the enter key, and it's going to give you a result up there. You can also make a trace, click the trace, right click, trace around, and enter to save it. Now, note that these are just generic measurements. They will not go on the report. If you use that type of measurement, this is just something that you want to take a screenshot of, save it, and then use it for your reports later. If you actually want to use the calculation package and have it go to the report, you will need to use the calc button. So let's go ahead and get rid of these measurements on there by clicking the erase key that's right there. And we'll freeze our image and let's go to calc. So if you want to take the measurements and have it show up on a report, you'll go ahead and click this calc button. Now note I'm in the carotid so you would think you'd see a vascular package up here. I don't have one. And that is because there's nothing in the 2D measurement package. That's something that you would need to change in the setups. And I'll show you really quickly where that is. We're going to hit this setup key just next to the question mark. And we can configure all our packages here and click configure. Uh, let me jump back real quick and show you how I got there. Mine automatically went there. My machine immediately pulled up to measure and calc, but in general, you're going to see this screen first. So you want to go down here and select this measure and calc. It's in the second row of tabs, probably, depending on what showed up first, but it'll always be over here on the right. Use that button to, to click on it. Choose vascular or whatever it is that you're looking for. And I'm going to click configure. Now, it's going to show me that I do have measurements over here in menu. So when I click that calc button, it's going to show me all these measurements. But this says for all modes. If I click on 2D, there's nothing there. And that's because I would need to select some over here and push them over whatever it is I want to do. IMT, for example. Okay. And you want to check that for each mode. M mode doesn't have any, obviously, but Doppler is going to have these which, and if you want to add your own, there is a very large selection of calculations that you can add. So these are the measurements, and here are the calculations that you may or may not want to add. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. It'll step me out of there. And then I'm going to click Close. And now, when I hit Calc, now I have those measurements. So I'll go ahead and just select the first one there. I just picked a random one and just basically show you how it's done. So I'm going to click this button to set and I would just hit this key to get the first caliper. If I want to finish it, I'm going to hit enter. And there it has my area. And if the measurement's been taken, it's going to show the measurement right up there to show that you've already got that measurement taken care of. And then you can do that for subsequent measurements from there. I'm going to go ahead and erase that. And now that I know it is up there, oh, sorry, I'm going to hit the calc to get out of that calc package, hit erase to get rid of the measurements on screen. Doppler measurements work very much the same way. I'll show you Doppler, how to do the Doppler in just a moment on the Doppler and M mode. So you just hit PW, hit it again. Freeze, hit calc. And then you can go ahead and choose each point. And now it has your measurements up there. Hit 2D to go back to 2D imaging. Okay, and let's say I didn't like those calcs that I added because they weren't necessary. We can just go back to that setup, and I didn't want those on there, so I'm going to go back and configure vascular. Again, it just popped up to measure and calc. Yours may show up to some other type, but notice measure and calc move up to the top row. Depending on which tab, now it moved down to the bottom row. I click on the top or the bottom, it's going to jump up and down. I'll just go ahead and click measure and calc. I've got vascular, configure, 
And I want to go back to the factory defaults where those are no longer on there. So I'll just click default there. And yes, I want to reset the current menu, the factory ship defaults. Click that again. And I'm OK. And then I can close. Now I'll hit the calc button again. And there it is. There's nothing there. Now you can go to change package and go to something separate. Uh, the change package was the first choice up there. And let's just say I want to go to Pediatric General. And then there's also a display all packages. I can check that off to just see everything that's available. So I can select them from here, use this arrow to go down and choose from all the packages that are currently available or preset on the system. And then I can make my measurement from there. I'll hit calc again to get rid of it. Next, let's go ahead and get some annotations. You're going to choose text or body marker. Body marker works very much the same way as text. We'll just hit on text. Go ahead and hit text. And we've got a quick list here, and this can also be set in the system setups. But right now, let's just use what we've got here. I can choose left and then choose right, and choose all of these. Now, this won't let me get off the menu. And let's say I don't want everything up there. Just go ahead and left click that, and now I can hover over with the trackball. I don't think you can see it on screen, but I'm taking this cursor and when I hover over it, click enter and I can move that elsewhere on the screen. Click enter again and move those elsewhere on the screen. Now my home position went straight up to the top there. So if I get out of text, I hit it again. The cursor immediately appears up top. Yours may be different. If you want to change that and have it go someplace else, I'm going to go ahead and left click and move my cursor if you can see it. I've moved it over here. I have to hit this next key and I can hit the set home and if I push that down every time I hit text let me get out of it. I'm going to erase my text. I hit the text key and now my cursor appears there in the middle. If I want to go back to the factory default down here, I'm going to push this button down and boom, there it is. Now I'll go out of text, hit it again, and now that is my home. So also note down here we have carotid, vascular, and we also have an arrow. I can click on this here. If I push this down, this button here, I can get an arrow, move it around. I can also twist and rotate that arrow click enter and now I can still move those hover over the top click enter and I can move that arrow hover over the top and I can click on it and rotate the arrow again so you can make those changes and then again I can just hit erase to get them all over there now let's go back to the text really quick notice as I twist these I've got all sorts of different packages that I can select, contrast, superficial, GYN, and I can select from that list that is preset.